Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Captain of Industry. Let's get back to it. I think we we're planning on setting out and setting out for sale, actually, here and taking the ship out. Let's do that. Before we do, I just want to show you the map. If we zoom out, I'm going to hit the F11 key to get into cinematic mode. <laughs> I didn't actually realize this. I knew the teeth, right? We saw the teeth a couple episodes ago. But check out the island, right? Very, very cool. And the name of the map um, translates into Island of Death. So that all makes sense. But we're going to terraform this thing. I think it's going to look quite a bit different by, <laughs> by the time we're done. But uh, I thought that was pretty, that was kind of pretty cool. All right. Let's get back to it. I'm going to unpause the game and let's go load crew onto our ship and explore the map. It's been a while since I've done this. Boom, load crew. We've got plenty of workers. There they go. They're all on board pretty darn quick. Okay, now we need to go to the map. Do we have that here? And I guess just pick a location. Any location will do. Boom, off we go. There goes our ship. Oh, nice. <laughs> Pretty sweet. All right, there it goes. We'll see what they find. Hopefully they can bring back some resources for us. What else do we have to do here on the objectives here over on the left? Establish the copper ore mine. Yeah, we got our ramp going, right? Let's take a look. Where are you doing down here, I think? How are you doing? You're not stuck, but it looks like you need some trucks to help you. In fact, this map is quite a bit spread out. We've got a, our tree harvester is also waiting. This guy is full, but has no place to deliver the wood. Oh man, all kinds of problems, but these are kind of good problems. We're fully, well, they've got a place to deliver this. I wonder why they're not delivering the wood. We might need more storage for that. But uh, we also want to kind of keep an eye on our diesel until, well, we've got diesel production. Maybe we don't need to worry about diesel so much. Hmm. Wondering if I should put down temporary storage for the wood just so we have more of it. Let's see. This guy. That's our wood storage. Let's do it. This is probably going to be temporary. I'm just going to put this down so we can keep our tree harvester busy. And then I'm sure we'll make use of this later. Oh, well, that's fine. I don't care. As long as they snap together, it doesn't matter which one's first. And then let's make sure we set a product for this guy. Wood. I'll keep our tree harvester going. We need... Um, oh, we've got another excavator. Ready. I need pickup trucks. I'm going to queue up one more, two more pickup trucks. Because I'd like to assign them to our miner over here, the coal miner. Having this guy sit idle is not so great. Not so great. We want to get this ramp built so we can get to the copper and keep moving through our objectives. Copper's over here, right? Put the filters on. Yeah, we got a bunch. We got all these sandy teeth that we can harvest at some point. Synthetic rubber has been completed in the research tree. We're currently doing storage. Not sure. Oh, there you go. I was just going to say, I'm not sure how many tutorials there are. But one, a new one just popped up for synthetic rubber. So we'll get to that. Let's look at this. Okay, our ship has discovered a damaged cargo ship. We're getting rubber. We're getting copper. We're getting a few vehicle parts. Or is that what it needs to be repaired? Not sure. Okay, cargo ship technology we unlocked. Hooray. Uh, 240 iron we'll have to bring. We have this. I guess we can start the repairs. Waiting for material delivery. And then can we send our ship out a little further? What's our fuel reserves? 1,326 kilometers here on the far right. Okay, and we did pick up copper and vehicle parts. And rubber. Let's see if we can keep exploring. Back off the map. We achieved that objective. We'll collect our 60 brick bonus here. Yeah, we're, we're kind of stuck on the copper waiting. 
truck load is stable. Maybe I can assign one more truck over to this mine control tower. And that'll keep these guys moving a little bit faster. Let's do that. Get a third truck on that. The other thing we could do is put a dump site closer to this mine. That way these trucks aren't having to go so far to dump. This one's got dirt. This will probably go into our brick factory. Then we've got another excavator. Sit and wait, and I guess we'll save that one for copper. For the copper mine. We'll let him just sit tight for a bit. Okay, oh, we got a little tutorial message for cargo ship. Cargo ship allows us to automate product deliveries from world mines and oil rigs. The ship is to be discovered, repaired, or purchased on the world map. It cannot be built directly on your island. Once you obtain a cargo ship, you can build a cargo depot on your island, and the ship will dock there automatically. The number of ships available, repaired, and the number of ships discovered is shown at the top of the interface. Yeah, I think I've seen that right here, maybe. Or no, it's over here. Underneath our power indicator. Okay, the cargo depot can only be researched once. A first cargo ship is discovered on the world map. Depots can be built on the shore of your island. When placing a cargo depot, you'll see striped patterns. This is what I could have used for the um, for the trade dock. So they're going to explain what this these colors are and everything. Okay, you'll see striped patterns reaching out to the sea, indicating ship access. You must ensure that at least one area is green, indicating that a ship will be able to dock. Be careful not to block these areas with other buildings, such as other depots or ocean pumps. Okay, that's kind of what we surmised. Uh, after we built the trade dock. Cargo Depot requires modules in order to store and transfer products. There are modules for each type of product and you can mix and match them on a single depot. These modules determine what types of products your ship will import or export. You need to assign this product manually. So kind of like the warehouses. Modules also have input and output ports for you to connect transports to. Very good. Ship logistics. Cargo ship will depart automatically when there is enough cargo to fill the ship on the world map. A ship can pick up cargo from any entity on the world map. Each trip of the ship has a fixed fuel cost, which is based on the size of the ship. Okay. All very cool. We'll get to that later. We have to repair that ship first. All that stuff's done. Storage is underway. That's almost done. We need to pick another research. Let's do construction two. And then I'm looking for the dock. Is something, cargo dock is something we can now research. Cargo depot. Oh, it's way out here. Uh, We'll get there, right? So research lab two and then cargo depot maybe? We might want cargo belts, our conveyor belts first. So it may be a little while before we leverage the cargo ship. But uh, we've got another research queued up. We now need to do the rubber maker. Build and connect the rubber maker. See where that's at here. Basic distiller rubber maker. What does this guy take? Sulfur, diesel, make rubber. Or, is that two recipes? Or we've got diesel plus coal will give us rubber and some nasty wastewater. So I guess we can set this up over near our diesel and we could even maybe leverage that same waste dump. Not that we need to, but let's take a look, zoom in and see. We want diesel. We've got an output for diesel right here. Um, this is our coal deposit. We might, I mean, our oil deposit. We might not want to build right on top of that because we may want to put some more pump jacks down. We'll see. But it wouldn't hurt to be able to tap into this wastewater. This guy can handle 60 per minute. What are we sending to it? 12 per minute. Yeah, we could leverage that. Maybe... Let's plunk this guy down. We gotta give it coal as well, which is a little bit of a bummer. How about... We just plop this guy down and let's get some pipes going. 
We're going to go high for these. Not sure if that's going to be in the way of that thing. Well, if it is, we'll move the pipes. Try it like this. Here's our diesel coming in. And now we want to pipe out our, our wastewater. This is going to hop up to not staying on that same line. All right, that's that. Let's hit play. Let the stuff get built. Coal's going to have to come by truck. Eventually, we'll get that loose storage. I don't think we have that researched yet. Look at the tech tree and just see. Did we research that? It's almost done. We don't have it yet, but we can put up a coal, a big loose storage for coal here. That'll fill our rubber processing building here. And then where's our output? There's our rubber coming out. I guess we could throw a storage building down for that. And we don't have our conveyor belts yet, <laughs> but we will someday. Someday soon, I hope. All right, there's rubber. That's all done. Storage is now researched. So we've got loose storage. This will store coal. Let's see if we can make use of this too. Okay, here's our battle. Went to explore a new area. We don't have any weapons, so we got chased away. Uh, our ship's going to come all the way back home, but we explored a little bit more of the map, or we found some new destinations at least that we can go to. Okay, we're trying to put down loose storage here. And I don't have conveyors yet. I'm going to set this to coal anyway. Don't think I have any transport, right? Yeah, just molten channels and pipes. So we need to get conveyors sooner than later. Let's see. Our vehicle depot, we ordered a couple of pickup trucks. How are those doing? Those got released. Let's take a look at our land bridge. Not land bridge, but our ramp here. Guy's yeah, working away. He's got a truck available. I may add another. Just so we've always got one waiting. I want this fully, fully operational. This guy going 24 7. He's got to drive halfway across the map to refuel currently, too. So we'll have to take care of that in the tech tree as well. Ships on the way back. Storage is researched. Uh, Rubber Maker has no recipe selected. Let's get on that. Uh, this is also consuming power, so we might get to the point where we need more generators. Wow, that guy takes a lot. 80 kilowatts. Let's pick this recipe. It's the only one we can do. We don't have sulfur yet. Okay, produce rubber, 12 units. We'll have that shortly. These guys must be dropping off. Oh, or what are you guys doing? Oh, they're dropping off rubber from the dock. <laughs> so we have some extra rubber. Let's uh, put another storage building down. Not you. Uh, this guy. Storage. Not super crazy about how these look clipped together, but for now we're going to just go for speed. Okay, our ship is back. I wonder if we need to repair it. We'll find out. Ship health. We have auto repair set on. Yeah, it looks like maybe it took a little tiny bit of damage. Waiting for materials delivery. 11. 11 iron? Oh, that must be for the repair. But we have to send a bunch over to that other... That cargo ship to get that repaired. We need a bunch of iron plates. Let's see. We should have a ton, right? 160. 
I bet these guys are just backed up, waiting. What's going on over here? Seems awfully quiet. What are you waiting on? Bull. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's kind of hard to believe, actually. Is this coal getting put in here or something? No. We had all those extra trees. Oh, this guy. Oh, they told us to pause this. We may need to leave this guy run the coal maker and burn some of this wood. Until we're really fully operational here at the coal mine. I guess I could put another excavator here while we're waiting, right? We have that excavator free. We can always take it off later. That'll speed things up. This rock will help our land bridge. Here is that. Here, oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> Here's the start of it. It's moving, it's moving pretty slow. But we're gonna we're gonna move. Let's see, where's the dump site? Yeah, there it is. So we're working on a bridge there, so that's where that scrap will go that the, that truck just went off with. This guy too is getting rock. It looks like our excavator is working its way up the hill. And hopefully we will be able to have a ramp out of this. I was hoping it would be picking up more coal along the way. Looks like it's getting a lot of rock out of here. We do have coal all throughout. But it looks like there's uh, these indicators are showing that we do have a layer of rock on top. Or some non-coal material on top that has to be dug down in order to get to that coal. All right, but we're making progress. We're making progress. I like it. I like it. Rubber plant doing. You have what you need. You're probably waiting on that coal too. Yep. Don't have coal. It looks like you don't have enough diesel. So I'm a little confused about the little numbers in parentheses. I thought that's what they had on hand. Four. They need, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we toggle the 60, that is ne not necessarily showing what's required for a whole batch. So that's the reason why you wouldn't want that toggled. It only needs four diesel to complete a cycle. But if you want to scale up all your machines and have it easy to calculate, clicking the 60 makes it easier. So now I get it. It's got all the diesel it needs right now. It's just waiting on a couple coal. We did turn on the charcoal burner or the coal maker. I'm tempted to do another one of these just for productivity. Let's do it. This guy kicks out 24 exhaust. This one can take 60. Let's start string from the tutorial and working to move things forward a little faster. I'm going to plop down another coal maker. Uh, the, oh, I can flip, flip, flip. That'll help with the exhaust. Uh, not that way. That's what I want. I want the exhaust together. Boom. That way, if we do put dry storage here for the coal or for the wood, actually, we can just do a regular storage unit, but we're still waiting on conveyors. Keep forgetting. Tape. That's that. Unity, we're doing okay. We're, we have a cap of 44 and we're at 40.1. So we've got these guys kind of quote unquote overclocked with Unity. They are doing their thing. I've actually got more vehicle parts than I know what to do with. Let's make use of those. We're going to start having rubber soon. Uh, I'm going to get a couple more pickup trucks going. And I'm tempted to set up storage for vehicle parts. Need more construction parts. Let's add that as a recipe that this guy can do when he's backed up on electronics. This has already got 
construction parts, and this guy does too. Hmm. I'm going to set up a storage for vehicle parts here just so we can keep our factories moving. Fine for now. See if our other excavator made it over here to help out. Yep. We're working pretty aggressively to get to that copper mine. And again, that's going to help us bridge over to the other islands that we can't get to just yet. Boots looking great, 99 months. Uh, what else? Construction part twos. Yeah, food is awesome. We've got three food storages just loaded. Just loaded. We got plenty of workers. We can turn off a farm. Things seem to be going a little too easy. What about that? Um, what about that cargo ship? We could set out to repair it. I deliver the cargo. Now that should start using up our iron. I think, I think that's going to trigger our ship to, did you take anything with you? Hmm. Not quite sure what's going on here. I don't know. I may have clicked something I didn't mean to click. Liver cargo already present or on its way. It wants 240 iron. So I would have expected to see our ship load up that cargo, but it didn't take anything. Looks like we might have some few of these upgrades yet. Start loading the ship. Damaged cargo ship. I'm going to say start loading the ship. Loading required materials. So I'm not sure what happened. I think clicking that actually sent the our ship out there before we actually had the parts may not be the end of the world. We can still explore another node. In fact, it's almost there. See what happens. All right, we're there. There's nothing for you to do there. Go explore here. All right, nothing lost on that one. Getting trees over here. We are. We got two coal makers. We'll burn through the wood again until we can get these excavators back to working on actually the coal. In fact, one of them will probably work on the coal and we'll send the other one over to work on the copper. How are we doing on this? Feels like they're getting close. Now, if they're able to get up there, a truck should be able to get up there. All right, synthetic rubber. We produced 12 units of rubber. Let's collect our bonus. More electronics and some bricks. We'll take it. Uh, I don't see any new tutorial objectives coming up. Can look at the tech tree. Copper. We can start. Yeah, we can't do anything until we get at the copper. Diesel. We could run that pipe of diesel fuel if we want. Uh, that's going to take a lot of construction parts that we don't... We're a little light right now. We're at 89. But we talked about running a pipe all the way over to the shipyard. I think we'll hold off on that. We could collect water and start storing that up. Build some water collectors. Where, where, where? Look at the tree harvesting too and see how that is going. Yeah, he's got plenty to chew through. Still have 
excavators waiting for trucks. Tempted to put another, he had another truck on this just to keep it moving. Check the brickyard for the brick maker. Dirt has plenty of dirt. Yeah, everybody's waiting on coal. Let's get another excavator in the works. We're probably going to want two on coal. And how about another pickup as well? These guys are staying overclocked. The vehicle park guy is over here. And did I set the recipe here? I did. We have four in storage, <laughs> not a ton, but it's something. All right, map time. What did you find? Oh, he's on his way back already. Fully explored. This island was explored. Visit. Yeah, well, what? I'm confused. I'm confused. A little different than it was before, apparently. Location explored. Very explored and found some loot. I guess there's nothing else there. How are you doing on fuel? Yeah, I guess there's just nothing here. No offshore rig, no much of anything. Adopt population. Raid for bricks. I don't think we need to do any of these trades. Oh, there's more. Trade for scrap. Wood for scrap. I don't see much here. Interesting. I guess our ship's just going to head back automatically once it goes here. There's nothing there, right? Yeah, that's fine. We'll come back. How are we doing on loading up the iron plates? 146 needed. Can we do this upgrade? Or no, we already have that. I see. These, we all have to unlock all of this stuff, it looks like. Are we smelting? Okay, this guy's getting coal. I have a feeling we might need a third coal burner. We can't get this ramp done soon. Ooh. Looking pretty good now, actually. Let's rebuild our mine control tower that we had over here and see if it can uh, be constructed. Turn on the overlay a bit. There's our mining designation, or our, yeah, our uh, mining designation. That's fine. Buildings for vehicles, mine control tower. Start here. Let's see if that actually gets built or if our trucks complain they can't get there. Keep an eye on this area. I'll speed it up. Hey, my controller has no available designations to be mined in its area. What? The whole mine designation. Oh, look at that. What? 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 Oh, the ramp is done. The ramp is done, I think. Let's go after the coal then, fellas. I think the ramp is done. We're about to find out. Let's mark some of these trees as well. Oh, it's looking good. Looking good. We've got our ramp. We can now get at the copper. That's awesome. That is good news. Very good news. In fact, we can assign our excavator. I'm going to keep building pickups. I'd have to steal a pickup off of this guy, though. Sorry, guys. Low diesel. Okay. We've got 48. We are producing. What do you need that you're not getting? Got coal. Let's boost that one. 
productivity production wise and then we can take some of these boosts off maybe still have a lot of unity so i'll keep two of them going boost diesel production we'll leave the rubber going eventually this is going to fill up storage and stop we could always stop it ourselves if we want but i'm going to let it run as we're getting more trucks and things we are burning through the diesel we're also chewing through power faster than we used to 120 kilovolts so our diesel generator is burning through diesel as well in fact why don't we get ahead of the curve on that and build one more we'll just put it right next to this one just so we have it ready when we start coming up short on power Okay, this guy's ready to go, man. Uh, assign an excavator and two trucks. We are going to burn through a lot of diesel because these vehicles have a long way to drive. Like, here's an excavator going to get fuel. We need to research that in the tech tree. That, take a look. Not on the map. Fuel stations. Transport balancing. That's kind of cool. Surprised that comes so early. Thank you, production fuel station right here, right? Let's do that. Do that next. Fuel station and then conveyor belts, maybe. This is going to save us diesel. So will conveyor belts, incidentally, but that's going to take building materials to make. This isn't too bad. Uh, construction two is getting close. Our ship's back. How do we empty this stuff? I need to cargo keep empty. See what that does. We've actually got some coal sitting on the dock, which seems kind of odd to me. We have 102 more iron plates to deliver, and then we can repair the damaged cargo ship. We don't have storage for electronics or copper. We're about to have storage for copper, maybe out this way. Probably gonna have our copper smelting and stuff out here. Boy, yeah, we are really distributed here with the resources. That will be a bit of a new challenge for me. Those guys seem to be doing fine. Once we get conveyors, we can set up dry storage for the iron ore and the coal. We could actually do that now. Get it ready. Just not sure if this is actually how we're going to keep things. Getting to the point where we can start doing things less temporary. And doing things a little more organized. Establish copper ore mine and start mining copper ore. We should be just about doing it. Here's our trucks. Here's our excavator. Chewing through the first chunk of copper ore, hopefully. That looks like dirt. Guys getting dirt. Maybe the next truck will get copper. Hopefully that dirt will go to the brick plant. Okay, he's got a full load. This guy looks like he's going to get dirt too. All right. Might be a bit before we get the copper. Let's wrap this episode here. We're going to pick it up next episode and maybe start getting a little more organized here. We want to get serious, start getting serious about our smelting operation for iron. Looks like we've got a lot of iron in this area. Tons, right? So we can start maybe scaling up our iron. I'm a little worried about diesel. We may need to, ha we may need to scale that up as well. And now we've got coal, so that's going to help our smelting operations run more efficiently. And then I'm also thinking about 
scaling up the brickworks. So I'm going to take a look at some things between episodes. But yeah, for now, this is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on Captain of Industry. Very, very cool. We're just, just, just getting started. Um, but we've got the basics. We've got some basic diesel production. We've got some basic electricity. We've got coal, iron, and copper now available to us. That's going to open up a lot of, um, a lot of ability to, to create factories and things. But yeah, I will see you all in the next episode.